You cannot imagine how far I'm happy today. Marriage is so sweet especially, when you have someone who loves you so much, someone who can do anything for you, even in the valley of life and dead. You know I got married last year. This man proposed to me and I accepted him, we got into marriage, and guess what? This man is a man of my dreams, even if I wake up one day and I don't see his face I'll feel uncomfortable. This man is so caring, this man is so loving, God-fearing, and he chooses me over everything. I thank God, you're lucky. But Joanna what are you waiting for? You've completed everything you had to do with education. You are fully educated and you have your side business too, life is short so why didn't you get yourself a man to settle down with, set up a family, and life better life? Sarah, it is not that I am not working on that, I am really doing my best. You know marriage is not by force, or by rush, but it is by God and by heart. Besides that, it is God who initiates marriage, it isn't not my efforts. So I'm praying that I should get a man of my dreams. A man who would love me for who I am, not a man who would love me for what I have, a man who would be there for me, when I am in the valley of life and death. I'm still doing my best, who knows, tomorrow might be a good day for me. I'm still praying to God for help. Okay, as you said no one knows tomorrow except God. I'm also hoping to see you being in a happy marriage like me. Come in. I am worried about you something. Worrying about something? Come and sit here and let's talk. What are you worrying about? Mom, when would I get married? It's been over a year that I started praying. I started going out, but yet still, I see nothing, nothing is working or no. I don't know what to do again. You don't know what to do again? Don't tell me you are giving up upon your prayers, or you are giving up upon God. He knows what is right for you, and he will guide you to get a man of your dreams. If he is not talking to you or he's not responding to you, doesn't mean that he will never respond you. He will. He will respond you. Everyday women also played a role in God's plan throughout history. See let me tell you this Bible story. There was a woman who prayed for a husband. Abigail. Abigail was married to a man named Nabal, who was rude and hateful. One day, David and his men passed through the area where Nabal lived, asking for food and water. Nabal refused to help them even though it was customary to provide for travelers this way. Nabal's refusal angered David, and he sent his men to kill him. When Abigail learned of David's plan, she sprung into action, preparing enormous amounts of food and gifts, and pursuing David on a donkey. As soon as she saw him, she fell on her face and delivered the most humble and heartfelt plea to spare her husband's household. Abigail continued to ask for forgiveness, emphasizing her wish that God protect David and give him victory. By God's grace, David listened. He said to Abigail, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, who has sent you today to meet me. May you be blessed for your good judgment and for keeping me from bloodshed this day and from avenging myself with my own hands. Abigail's pleas to God and David spared Nabal's life. When Nabal died soon after, Abigail became David's wife, and she played a significant role in the history of Israel. Mom why this story? I want you to know that prayer can do a lot in your life. If you pray and you believe in your prayers, your request shall come to pass. Joanna, I have a special prayer for you. Okay Mom. Wake up in the midnight. Bow before your Lord, put your worries before Him, cry for His help, and you will be helped. Why pray at midnight? Let me tell you, midnight between 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. is known to be the most spiritually active period of the day. You will notice that dreams, revelations, attacks, visitations from the spirit world, both by angels and demonic powers, often come at this time, especially when you are sleeping. Okay I hear, I will do it.
What? What? What kind of dream is this? I only prayed for a husband, but not husbands. What is happening? Why are these men in my dream? Why? I am supposed to see only one man, but I saw two men in the dream. Or what am I going to marry both of them? No, I can't. I am supposed to marry one, and I was expecting to see that one in my dream, and now I am seeing two. What do I do, oh my god? This is too heavy for me. Dear god, you brought me this dream, you only know the reason why you made me have this dream. I have no idea, two men in my dream, I don't know what to do. Dear god, please help me. Help me to choose the right one. Hello, can I see you for a minute? I am Peter and you? Joanna. See young lady, I want to be the man of your dreams. I want to be the man who will not hurt you in your entire life. I want to be the man who care for you, who could do everything for you. I just want you to know that I care for you, and I can do anything for you. Even if you are in the midst of life and death, and if I can even risk my life for you, I will. You will? Yes I will because you are a treasure to me. God created you ladies special, and you must be treated special. If I get married to you I'll make you feel special and important. Wow, what a beautiful lady. Hello beautiful lady, I am Desmond, and you? I am Joanna. You are a beautiful lady, I'll think your character must also be beautiful, everything about you I am sure it is beautiful. Joanna I want to be the man of your dreams, you have everything I ever desire from ladies like you. You are like a blessing. You are so precious, you are too difficult to be found. In this world, opportunity comes at once but not twice. This is the opportunity, you are my opportunity I must grab you and treat you very well and make you feel important like a woman of all women. I only see you to be my property, as for me, I treat my properties carefully and special as my heart, every property of mine is at my heart, I cannot leave without it. Even if I have to risk my life for that property like you, I will. You will? You will sacrifice your life for me? Yes, trust me. When you are in the state of mess I'll be there with you, when you are in need of help I'll be there with you. When you are in trouble I'll be there with you, because you are my treasure and my property. Even if the whole world is on your shoulder, I will come to lift it up. If I get married to you I'll make you feel special, trustworthy and important. Joanna, when you left here for the market, two gentlemen came to search for you. One is called Peter and other one is called Desmond. I was surprised when they were fighting over you in their conversation. Are they your crush or you're having a business with them? What? They were fighting over me. They are the men who wanted to marry me. What? Mom, I don't know what to do. They love me and I love them too. Mom. I saw both of them in the dream, I don't know which one is the choosing one for me. They always fight when they pump into each other. This is becoming too risky, I am afraid one might hurt each other. They might hurt each other one day, they always fight, they always fight. Mom, the only way to stop this, is to take away my life. I think I have to take away my life, yes I have to take away my life to solve it. I can take it anymore. The last time they met me at the supermarket, you can't imagine what happened over there. They started yelling at themselves, then they jumped into fighting. Because of me they are no longer friends. What? They are no longer friends, they see each other as enemies, I don't like that. I will take away my life, so that everything will be gone, and everything will be over. It is because of me that's why they're doing this. Mom what I'm thinking right now is to take away my life and that's all. You don't say that daughter, 
Child of God doesn't say that. Child of God plans to have ways to leave. What would you gain if you take away your life? What would you gain? Taking your precious life away because of two men fighting over you, it isn't right, it's completely wrong. If you take away your life, they would rather were the be enjoying life, because there are pretty ladies out there. They can go for them marry them and make a family with them. So I'm going to have a plan for you. A plan? What plan is that?